Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ricky with TechBit Solutions and in the next couple of minutes, I'm going to be talking about the top three jobs based on my experience and what I've came across uh, that are high paying jobs and that you don't necessarily need a college degree. Uh, I'm gonna be talking based off of experience and I'm gonna really emphasize the first one because that was one of the jobs that I had that I'm extremely passionate about and that assisted me in being able to buy my first house at age 20. Um, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And again, for those that don't know who it is that I am, be sure to click that subscribe button. My name is Ricky, I run the largest YouTube channel for those who invest in the stock market. We have a little bit over, as of now, 430,000 subscribers. We would love to stay connected and be a part of your success. So be sure to click that like button, be sure to click that uh, subscribe button if that's something that you guys would see of value. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get started. So the first one that I wanna talk about is telecommunication sales. Some of you guys might be asking, that's a really formal word. Again, all it is, it's, I used to work at a store when I lived in California uh, called T-Mobile, right? I got hired at the end of, I think, 18, the beginning of when I was 19. Um, and the really cool thing about that is that not only do they pay above equilibrium wages, which means that they pay above, uh, they pay above minimum wage. Um, so that's around 13 or $14 an hour. But on top of that, they compensate you based on commission. So whatever the sales that you drive, you get a percentage of that. The really cool thing about that is that not only do you get paid for the hours that you invest while you're working, but on top of that, you get paid for the kind of like just effort that you put in. And I think that's something that's like really worthwhile, especially for those that are just getting out of high school that are around 18 um, and actually in college, right? Even leading up to a little bit after college. If you're just looking for a little bit of a higher paying job, based on my experience, I had an amazing one. <clears throat> The really cool thing about this is that, um, okay, I was in California and then I moved to Arizona, right, uh, to go to the ASU Polytechnic campus. While I was going to ASU, and you guys can look at uh, and check out the video, I made it about three years ago. I think it was like the day of Thanksgiving or the day after Thanksgiving. Uh, the really cool thing about that was that I was 20 years old uh, and I was closing on my first house. I was 20 years old, just bought my first house, and so many people were questioning of like what I was doing or anything like that. The way that I was able to solely qualify for that house was because of that telecommunication based job. I wasn't working for T-Mobile in Arizona again, I was working for a similar kind of competitor uh, called Verizon, for those that are familiar with that. The really cool thing about that is not only in T-Mobile, we had um, employees, I was part-time there, so I was working about 25 to 28 hours a week, uh, but when it came down to moving to Arizona, I was working for Verizon, and I, originally I was working full-time for like six months, and then after I bought my house, I went to part-time. The really cool thing about that is that not only was I able to make over $50,000 a year solely just by having that part-time position both in T-Mobile and with Verizon, but there were employees that were working full-time that were breaking the six-figure mark. And feel free to Google it, feel free to search it, or ask anybody that is within that market. Again, this is based on my experience in the West Coast, and I know that there's very high volume competing stores, especially in that New York and Florida area. The really cool thing about that is, again, not only do you get compensated for the time that you put in, but on top of that, the commission. And that's really what like acts as a huge catalyst for your paychecks. Because yes, you might get paychecks that may, might be around one to $2,000 just based on your hourly rate every two weeks. But on top of that, you get your commission checks that can be like you know three to five to $6,000 um, altogether. I've had a commission check as large as over $9,000 one month uh, during like the Christmas holiday. And the really cool thing about that is again, you get back what you put in. So if you're someone that's sales driven and you're someone that's motivated by kind of like just the effort that you invest, it might be something to check out. Again, I'm just speaking based on my experience and the way that I'm wired and that's all I can really speak about. And that's why, again, even if this just helps one person, you end up applying for one of those jobs, you get the job, two years later down the road, you end up being able to qualify for your first house and then you have extra money that you can invest in other markets and stuff like that. And it was the sole decision that you made just you know, taking the first step and applying for this job, that's what it's all about. So I think stability is very important and it acted as a huge catalyst to be able to fund my different projects. And again, if you wanna become uh, someone that's self-sufficient, I would really encourage you to dedicate some time to see if it's something that would be of value for you. Uh, the second thing that I wanna talk about, the second job that I wanna talk about is for those that are familiar with Apple. I know a lot of people that are probably watching this video are coming right out of high school or into college or maybe a little bit after college. You're looking for a job that pays above minimum wage. The really cool about Apple is that not only by their, you know, kind of like sales floor employees, do they get paid, if I'm not mistaken, around 13 to $18 an hour, but on top of that, the Genius Bar, which obviously you have to be a little bit more qualified and knowledgeable for, they get roughly around $30 an hour. Again, if you're someone that's good with technology and can express that when you're in that interview process, then I think that not only would it be of value to Apple, but on top of that, I think it's an amazing um, company to possibly work for. Again.
I'm not speaking on that based on the experience, but more on feedback. Every time that I go to an Apple store, I always ask them how they enjoy working for Apple. And I have not had one person say that it's a negative experience. I'm sure that they treat their employees very well. And altogether, it's again, you know, doing what you love every single day. And if you enjoy what you do, then you're gonna be empowered in other markets and other areas in your life to do so much better. So again, I think Apple is something to look forward to, especially if you're you know, in a college town where they might be an Apple store, might be something to dedicate a little bit of time to, simply sent in an application and make sure that you're presentable and that you show that you are driven to work for such a large company. Again, if I'm not mistaken, the second largest company right now that has covered um, or cleared a little bit over a trillion dollars. So uh, the last company that I want to talk about is not based on my experience and is not based on my knowledge. But as I was talking to Justin, one of the jobs that he brought up was his buddy that dropped out of high school, no high school degree, no college degree, works for FedEx. And him and his dad work through FedEx and he has a 2018, if I'm not mistaken, Chevy Camaro 1LE SS. Um, altogether, yes, it's a nice car and I don't know if he's making payments or if he paid it out in cash, but altogether, for him to be able to be making anywhere from 60 to $70,000 a year, and if I'm not mistaken, if you're full-time and you have the tenure, you could potentially be making anywhere from 70 to about $90,000 a year just being a FedEx driver. Again, this is just me speaking based off what I've learned, there's a lot of hours, a lot of time, and it's a lot of stress to put forth hours and effort that you know the social life aspect might not be there. But if you're someone that just wants to hustle and just build up capital and just to be able to qualify and that's all you wanna be focused on for like the next year or two years and you just wanna you know hustle and do it, all power to you, it's an outlet, right? It's an option. And there's so many different options out there for you. Again, I'm just talking about the top three that I'm aware of. There's so many other as in like, you know, car sales, right? Uh, Michael and I were talking a little bit about that on how that could be something, but telecommunication sales is something similar to that um, with it being, I think, a little bit more modern and not as aggressive. But again, there's car sales, phone sales, uh, there's online sales. There's so many different sales and commission base. That would be my main focus as not only do you get compensated on the hourly standpoint, but on top of that, you get compensated uh, with the amount of time and effort that you put in. So um, that's really just it. I hope that these top three uh, suggestions that I have for you and the one that I'm speaking based off of experience can be something that can at least be of value and empower you to hopefully make a decision in your life in a way that it could actually provide you some stability. So for those that even have just like one minute, be sure to click that first link down in the description if you want to be able to watch me trade live in the stock market every single day and want to learn a little bit more on what I do on the day-to-day -day basis, I would encourage you, check out my YouTube channel. I have a bunch of videos. I recap my videos. Um, I recap my trades every single day and I would love to hear what you have to say about that. On top of that, if you want to watch me trade as soon as tomorrow, you get to watch me trade live be sure to click that first link in the description and let's stay connected. Again, if you want to join my free Facebook group of over 175,000 members uh, for TechBit Solutions, it's going to be that third link in the description. So be sure to not miss out on that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I earned your thumbs up and I'd really appreciate for you to subscribe. Altogether, I wish you guys the best. I hope that this can empower some of you, but most importantly, let's continue working hard, continue following your dreams. Let our passion be what drives us and our success. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy team.